The summer weather is here and the swimming pools are open. That means a chance to cool off and have fun. It also means a chance to do something most people won't admit to, but many have certainly done, peeing in the pool. And while it might be a time saver, new research in the ACS journal Environmental Science and Technology shows that the reaction between uric acid, a component of urine, and chlorine isn't pretty. Researching ways to keep the environment safe? That's breakthrough science. Professor Ernest Blatchley at Purdue University has been studying swimming pool chemistry for nearly a decade. He teamed up with Professor Jing Li at China Agricultural University to study two main byproducts of the reaction between uric acid and chlorine, cyanogen chloride and trichloramine. These compounds form for a number of reasons, but Blatchley and Li's article highlights the main culprit, uric acid. And where does that come from? Uric acid is almost entirely attributable to human urine in a swimming pool. That's right peeing in the pool. This was the first kind of direct link between uh, urinating in swimming pools and generating these hazardous disinfection byproducts. So why should swimmers care about this chemical reaction? Cyanogen chloride is a, it's a very toxic chemical. It's actually been used as a chemical warfare agent. The exposure to trichloramine does cause irritation of the respiratory system, and it causes irritation of skin tissues and your eyes as well. To be clear, there's not enough urine or chlorine in any pool to produce chemical warfare levels of these toxic substances, but people can get sick from breathing in this dangerous combination. There are reported instances where people have become ill with symptoms that are consistent with poisoning by either cyanogen chloride or trichloramine. Testing for these compounds requires advanced equipment, so there's not much data on pee-in-the-pool-related poisonings. But Blatchley and Lee do know that the reaction is swift. Uric acid is a very active compound. It will react with the chlorine immediately after they mix up. And it's common. The average swimmer leaves behind 30 to 80 milliliters of urine in the pool. That's about two ounces per swimmer. Just to be clear, not every swimmer urinates in the pool, but on average, that's about how much they leave behind. Chlorine also isn't likely to be taken out of pools anytime soon. Chlorination is, uh, is really the most popular method using around the world. So is it safe to swim this summer? This doesn't keep me from getting in the pool, uh, although I'm a little more cautious about it than I used to be. And a little more courteous. I mean, I have to confess, I'm a swimmer. Uh, I have peed in a pool. I don't anymore. Blatchley and Lee hope their research will get people to think twice before they go in the water. Breakthrough Science is produced by the American Chemical Society. To stay up to date on all the latest, greatest research, why not subscribe to ACS? Mm -hmm.